All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Detroit Lions in tonight's video. Yesterday was roster cut deadline day. And, um, you know, in my opinion, Detroit didn't do anything too crazy as far as cutting players or waving players, releasing them on their own roster, cutting it down to 53. But one of the best moves I've seen so far since that deadline has passed and you're picking up waiver guys is the Lions picking up Tim Patrick. Now, we're going to get to that in just a second, but I do want to start this video off by saying really good news because the Detroit Lions play regular season football in like a week and a half. Several players are looking really good for week one after missing practice at various points or games at various points in the last couple of weeks. That list is going to be Jameer Gibbs, Sam Laporta, Kevin Zietler, Rodriguez, Arnold Davis, Rake Straw. So the good news is... Uh, you know, everyone who was dealing with injuries hopefully is going to be good to go for week one. And then real quick, DJ Reader, the thought was week two. I still think it's going to be week two. But anyways, uh, that's just injury info because the big news for me as far as Detroit deadline day is the wide receiver room. All right. Khalif Raymond, Jamison Williams, Amon Ross St. Brown, and Isaiah Williams. Those are the only four receivers the Detroit Lions decided to bring in. But then... The Lions decide to sign Tim Patrick under the idea that he's going to work his way onto the active roster. And that's coming from sources here. Now, Tim Patrick is 30 years old. He was extremely solid for the Broncos a couple of years ago, early on in his career. 51 catches, 742 yards, six touchdowns in 2020, 53 catches, 734 yards, and five touchdowns in 2021. Uh, we're going to get to that in just a second, but before we do, if you guys enjoy it, hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content, along with way too many lines videos. We're a little close, a little tight on time, so I can already feel myself running out of breath. Uh, but anyways, hit that like button. Let's try and get it to 100 likes. Um, anyways, Tim Patrick... Yo, this isn't like a needle moving move, but it is potentially something here because, you know, we're going to get to it in a second here. But the thought process is, you know, obviously you have Sam Laporte to Jameer Gibbs. These guys are going to be heavily involved in the receiving game. And then you still have Amon Ross St. Brown, one of the most under-recognized, underrated wide receivers in the National Football League, and Khalif Raymond. But the thought process is Jameson Williams is about to break out into, you know, what he was drafted for coming out of Bama, right? Uh, the unfortunate side to Tim Patrick is he missed the entirety of the 2022 season with a torn ACL, and then he missed all of last season with a torn Achilles. So Denver actually has a really good roster, in my opinion. They've got a really deep depth chart, especially at wide receiver. So he was a cut candidate. He was a trade candidate heading into this season. He's got really good size. He's got good hands. He can block. He's got good, solid production. Those two years, I know it was 2020 and 2021, but he was putting up about 50 receiving yards per game. And because Josh Reynolds departed, you know, we just, you don't need, I just said we, I'm a Packers fan. The Lions don't need anything crazy because that's what Jameson Williams, Amon Ross St. Brown, Jameer Gibbs, Sam Laporta, Jared Goff, that's what those guys are for. They just would love, you know, more consistent X receiver. And that's why guys like Antoine Green, DPJ was cut. Uh, DPJ did end up getting re-signed, I think, a couple of hours ago to the practice squad. But the point is, the reports coming out of Denver have been making a ton of Broncos videos all preseason. He looked good. You know, he looked really good. He caught a touchdown pass. I believe it was from Bo Nix. Um, and he looks really healthy. That's like the big thing. He's missed the entire last two seasons. So we're going to take this sign in with a grain of salt. But if this is true, if Tim Patrick is healthy and he ultimately ends up on this 53-man roster sooner rather than later, it's a good pickup. It's a really good pickup to just you know make this receiver room a little bit deeper because, you know, God forbid, I'm on goes down for a month. God forbid he goes down for two weeks. You know, God forbid Jameson Williams gets banged up. But it's the National Football League. You know, it's grown men hitting each other with freaking, you know, barely pads and helmets on. So cats are going to get injured and you see it with wide receivers. You see it with offensive linemen. You see it with defensive backs. So you always want depth that you can actually rely on. The Lions actually only kept four receivers, like we mentioned. You know, they have 53 man. So a lot of cuts. Amon Ross St. Brown, James Williams, Khalif Raymond, and Isaiah Williams. Those are the, that's the wide receiver. All right. So DPJ, once again, um, he got cut, but he was picked up to the practice squad. Once again, I think that was earlier today. I think this is really good 
kind of info just because we heard Jameis Williams had such a great camp. Right, we've been hearing that since day one, that Jameis Williams looks like a completely different football player. The confidence, the aura, the on-the-field production. We've been hearing the entire training camp that Dan Campbell was so impressed with him you know, like a month ago or six weeks ago. So I think it's a really good sign, unfortunately, for DPJ, uh, but it's a really good sign for Jameis Williams. Uh, real quick, the 53-man roster, since we're mainly talking about offense here, uh, Jared Goff, Hendon Hooker, those are the two QBs on the Lions roster right now. Nate Sudfield was cut. I don't think he got picked up to the practice squad, but stuff like, <laughs> folks, in the, the, the last 24 hours have been chaotic. The next 48 to 72 hours are also going to be chaotic. So none of this is really set in stone. Uh, but Dave Montgomery, Jameer Gibbs, Craig Reynolds, and Sion Vaki, they are the running backs. And then, like we said, you know, the wide receiver room with those four players, one thing I did want to mention because I made my whole Lions video on Sunday about this, the edge rushers that made the roster, Aiden Hutchinson, Marcus Davenport, Josh Paschal, John Kaminsky, and of course, James Houston. I'm so glad that they decided to bring him back. But finally, one of the best stories uh, for the Detroit Lions summer in general is undrafted free agent wide receiver, Mr. Isaiah Williams. This dude was making play after play in the preseason. He looked like he never really had a solidified roster spot, and it was mainly due to his size, a little bit smaller uh, redundancy. I'm using air quotes here because he's mainly a slot receiver, and he got a couple of cats, Khalif, Amon Ross, and Brown, who are beasts in the slot. But folks, Isaiah Williams did everything right the entire preseason. The entire training camp. He's got great football IQ. He knows how to run his routes. You can see him in the special team. We saw that a couple of, or a couple of games ago in the preseason. He's just a nice move. He checks all of the boxes. And he makes this wide receiver room a little bit more deeper. As like we keep saying, uh, folks are going to get injured. So I have a strong feeling the Detroit Lions, we've been talking about this actually for a week or two. Nobody has stood out as a clear wide receiver number three. Or the X receiver, you know, big body, a guy who can easily win 50 50 balls. The hope is that Tim Patrick, you know, obviously makes this 53 man roster and is adequate for the, the Detroit Lions. And I think he's been injured for the last two years, but that's why you have Sam Laporta, you have Jameer Gibbs, a couple of route runners right there. You got Jameson Williams, you got Amon Ross St. Brown, you got Khalif Raymond, you got Isaiah Williams. You don't need Tim Patrick to be a thousand yard receiver. I would even be okay if he makes this roster eventually. He will, in my opinion, and gets you 400, 500 receiving yards. That would be a huge, massive win for the Detroit Lions. So I'm amped up. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. We'll see you guys in a couple of days. Most importantly, give me your grade on the Tim Patrick signing down below. Peace.